and slive out, but we live nonetheless. We got to get this budget done. All right. It is the last official budget of December. Now, I always like to have y'all live in-house with me, but if you catch this later, that'll be perfectly fine. Okay, so it's our last budget of the year, December budget. We have made it through all year doing every single budget, right? God has been good to us and helping me to keep all of my things straight, making sure I do my budget. So a lot of people would look at us now and say, oh, I can't budget like Shakima can budget because... Um, she's so far ahead of me. So I did want to share just this little brief thing. So when I first started doing my budget, the zero-based budget, Jackson was a year old when I took Financial Peace University. Jackson is 14 years old. So it has taken me 13 years to really get on a solid footing with this budget, right? It took me 10 years to be able to sink a sinking fund. So it's not like, like I'm not this far ahead of everybody. Hey, ma'am, how are you? I'm not this far ahead of everybody else and everybody else is trying to play catch up. There are months when I, you know, there are months when I have issues too, Well, I'm where I'm trying to make my ends meet or I'm trying to figure things out. It's not like it used to be in the very beginning, but, you know, never think that we're not working the budget because we work in the budget every day. I'm over here trying to figure out, okay, where do I need to move money from? How do I need to maneuver this, shuffle this, whatever the case. So for the very first time, y'all, okay, 50,000 subscribers. Can we just get a little love in the comment for 50,000? Thank you so much. I got 15 of y'all out here with me right now, but I'm here for the 50,000. Okay. Thank you so much. 50,000 y'all that to me, Somebody who is, um, hey, little lady, somebody who never knew YouTube existed, never knew it was a thing until the Lord told me to do it. Right. Because a lot of people don't believe you when you tell them God told you to do something. They're like, no, he didn't. Oh, but he did. Right. I didn't know YouTube was a thing. And the Lord said, I want you to go on YouTube. And I'm like, YouTube. OK, now I got to figure this part out. I don't even know what this is. I, 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 I don't necessarily struggle with social media, but I was one of those who social media was not a thing. When you work where I work, they were like, nope, don't do it. Don't get online. Don't be out here. Don't be friends with anybody. You know, we just, we, there were so many, many restrictions when I first started in education. Hey, y'all, uh, it is a little bit cool out there. I can only imagine what y'all are going through in Indiana. I, I wonder if it's snowing at all, but <laughs> it's it's winter here in North Carolina, but it was 70 today. So we'll take it. Um, so I did. I started YouTube. And for the very first time just this year, it'll be 10 years in September of 24. Hey, ma'am. Good to see you, ma'am or sir. I can't determine based on the name, but hello from the UK. Um, this was the first year that the business has been able to support some of the things that we need in the business where it has not been pulled out of my paycheck. Right. And that was only at the latter part of the year. So like in the last five, six months that the business has been able to take care of the business. Um, thank you so much. We are appreciative. Hey, y'all. Hey, everybody. We are so glad to have you here with us. But what I'm trying to say with all of that is never despise the small things, right? The Lord says, do not despise the small things. For when you are faithful with a few things, he will make you Lord and ruler over the much. So I have been faithful over the years. There were some years where I just kind of half did it. There were some years where I was on it all the time. This has been one of those years. This has been one of the, I think if you correlate um, right thinking and finances, um, you're going to, you're going to find yourself on an upswing, right? Because God never intended for us to struggle. That doesn't mean we aren't going to go through things, but he never intended for us to be a part of the struggle. One of the things I realized just this week was for the first time in my family line, on my side, my mother's, my mother, my mother's mother, my mother, now me, my children will have the opportunity to have generational wealth. There was no generational wealth with my mother. My mother was always on public assistance of some kind. My grandparents got public assistance. So here I am. 
for the first and I got public assistance in the very beginning when I had Shamika so young and all that. So I'm not knocking that. I have been there. I've gotten all the aid and all the EBTs. Of course, they were food stamps back then. We didn't have EBTs. And I got the, the, the check once a month and I got supplements for daycare. I got all of the things. Right. So I'm not um, knocking anybody if that is where you are currently. But where do I see myself moving forward? I had an opportunity to share with someone yesterday. They were trying to make a very hard financial decision. And I'm thinking, of course, I'm thinking about it from where I stand, but I could also see where they were standing. And I said, you cannot sacrifice the whole for one. You can't sacrifice your whole family for one person. What you can do is you can think about the whole family and then you can set a goal that in X amount of months, I'm going to be in a better place and I'll be able to do this one thing that I want to do. Hey, Veronica. Hey, Miss Madeline. Good to see everybody. I'm so glad you're here. If you don't mind chiming in, just let me know where you're chiming in from. Please also don't forget to like the video. It just helps us to get out into the algorithm. That's what we're trying to do because that produces income for us. If I told y'all how much money I made on YouTube, y'all would laugh at me because I don't know how these people are quitting their jobs and I just don't know how they doing it, but they doing it. They doing it and they ain't knocking nobody. You know, I'm over here giving it my best effort, but I work every day. Hey, finance mommy. Good to see you. I was just in Dallas not very long ago from Ohio, New Jersey. Hey, how are you? So, um, but it, as we work the channel, as I work to, excuse me, Put out more videos as I work to do all the things. Hey, from California. Hey, y'all. As I work to do all of the things. Oh, from Jersey City. Hey, y'all. Um, I pray that God's going to increase our finances. Now, I was looking at my analytics from YouTube. Um, hello from Dover. My analytics from YouTube thus far this year. And I've made less money on YouTube than I made any other year. Well, since the last couple of years. Usually... November, December, January are some of our larger earning months, and we're we're not earning a lot. And that is perfectly fine because when you have worked your way out of debt and you have multiple streams of income coming in, um, I heard a, an influencer very recently talk about the way the algorithm and the pay scales are going now in these social media platforms. These people not playing. Uh, they have figured out that there are some people who are really living large on this, um, on these platforms and they have restructured things so much so that you're not going to be out here making all this money off of them. That's not how it's going to go. But even in steel, when I've worked my way out of debt, I've got multiple streams of income coming from different places I don't sit in stress worrying about my money, right? It is going to happen for us. It is going to happen for me. I am faithful with the little. God will make me Lord and ruler over the much. I'm faithful to give and to offer and to do free will offerings and to do ab exceedingly abundantly above um, and all that. So, right, all I'm trying to say here is, Keep being diligent with your budget. You're in, you're in December. We're in December. We need to now start planning for January. I have two, three savings challenges I'm doing in January. Never thought I would be able to complete a savings challenge. I did three of them this year. I'm doing three next year because I'm going to have something for myself and my children while I wait on God to send the miracle that's going to bless our family. And can I tell you, we have been exceedingly abundantly, right? But you've got to start. I've got to start. We've got to start making those um, plans now for 24, because 24 will be here in 29 days. 29 days, we will be in 2024. The, the mindset that Shakima has that I have is I'm not going to do 24 like I did 23. And 23 was good to me. 23 was one of my best year, was my best year yet. And I just can't wait to see what God is, how God is going to outdo himself next year. But I have to cooperate. Right. I've got to cooperate with the Lord. I've got to do my part. OK, I've chatted quite a lot. So here's what we're going to do, because I got 30 minutes to get this done because I have another meeting um, at seven o'clock coffee and conversation. Me and the ladies, we got to get together. Okay. Yes, indeed. Coffee is life, it's hopes and dreams, everything. Okay. So December is here. 
looking at my budget thus far, I have paid bills. All the bills are paid. So even at the 3rd of December, I don't owe anybody anything. Mortgage, utilities, um, phones, water, all the things have been paid through whatever funds or mediums that they needed to be paid through. We still have a few things that have not come out, but they'll auto draft out of my checking account. So it's not things I have to pay like my gym, Jackson's gym, those two things kind of auto out. Um, so the thing about it, though, is we can get there, right? Your baby steps it are steps too. It may seem to some people like I'm taking leaps and bounds, but you got to remember, I started off just trying to manage grocery money, $25 a week. $25 a week is all I had to feed those kids in the summertime. It was like, God, how am I going to do this? And he helped me. He was able. Okay, I'm going to share my budget sheet with you. Now, this is a regular budget month. I don't have any. There's no supplements coming in because last month we had supplement money come in. There has been no windfalls. There's been, you know, there's, there's, this is just average, normal, everyday budget. Check in one of my social media um, accounts. The money is still way down below where I would have been three months ago. It's way down, way down, way down. But that's okay. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to keep putting out content as the Lord will allow me to. And eventually it's all going to catch up. But the key to not having stress in your uh, budgeting journey is getting out of debt. So again, I was speaking to somebody yesterday and um, I was saying to them, you need a day job, a Dave job. That just means that somebody for a short season has to get an, an extra job. Whether it's part time, it's a couple hours a week, it's a couple days a week, it's whatever, in addition to what you already do. And then you've got to be really, really brutal with yourself and look at where you can cut finances. Um, um, I did. I did cut. I did um, pay all of my debt before I started saving. Yes, ma'am. Because here's the thing. I did three savings challenges this year, but I paid off. We became debt free in 2019. So 2021, 20, 22, 23. So four years of just trying to get on a good track where we had everything situated. I was giving. I was I was doing baby step number seven, which is give because I'm going to do that anyway. But now we're in 24 for me is going to be building wealth for my family. Right. I'm not there yet, but I'm going to be working on baby step number three, which is my three to six months. That's between nine and eighteen thousand dollars that I need to save. So my two savings challenges, the hundred dollar challenge and the fifty dollar challenge, which I'll show you guys those two. I'm planning on doing those. So if anybody is interested in. Um, these envelopes, these are the Black Queens. They come from Shonversation off on Etsy. So I have been using her envelopes for quite a while now. But um, I think last year she sent me the Queens. And um, I use her regular cash envelopes. And of course, I've already uh, sank my cash for this month. I did a reel on that. I did not do a separate video, but it is on a reel. But these are the Black Queens that uh, come from the Etsy shop, Shonversation. This is a $5 challenge, which I use this one for vacation money. So it has 60 circles on the back. And every time you put a $5 bill in, you just cross off a circle. So it's 60 circles of $5. That's for vacation money. This is a $10 challenge. It is uh, $600 saved. This is the $20 challenge. I'm currently finishing up the $20 challenge for Alana. I owe her. I keep saying I owe her nine more $20 and I keep giving her $20. I think my math is off. My math ain't mathing, but I'm about to get it together because I'm tired of giving her my $20. Okay. I need to be saving for Shakima, but I was able to save or will have been able to save $1,200 towards the purchase of her car. She put, put some to it. Her dad put some to it. She put the majority. She put the majority of that money. Her dad did. Um, some, I did some. And so she put close to eight plus thousand for her car. 
And so now she's building back up to her savings so she can have that money in her account just for her moving out and, and towards adultness. So these are the challenges that I'm doing for 2024. This is the $50 challenge. And I'm going to try to do as many $50 as I can. But that's going to save me $3,000. If I do 60 $50 bills, that's going to save me $3,000. And then this is the $100 challenge. And if I do 60 $100 bills, that's going to save me $6,000. So this is how I'm planning on doing my three to six months is these two savings challenges. It's the 50 and the 100. So I'm planning to finish up baby step number three. I have money in there now. I don't have anywhere near what I need, but I do have money in there now. So I'm planning to do these two savings challenges to get my three to six month finished. Anything else I do, like I'm going to do the $5 challenge because that's just an easy one to do and it'll give you immediate results. That's going to be for vacation money. So Shamika's getting married in May. We all have to fly out to California. And so I've got to rent a car and I need to be able to have food money and that kind of stuff. Um, excuse me. We're going to be there four days. And so I need to be able to have money for that. And it's me and all of my children. Trandon's coming separately. Um, but when my children are together, if I'm able to do stuff for them, I like to do that. So I'd love to be able to spring for a meal here or there, whatever the case might be. But I do have to pay for the car so that we can have transportation and not depend on Shamika trying to get us places. So I'm going to rent a car uh, in California and, um, and, and for food. We do have a place to stay. We're going to stay with her so I don't have to worry about um, lodgings. But other than that, and then my sister's going to come and I think we're going to get a big enough vehicle where she and I can both share the expense, right? I'll take on the bulk of it because I'll have my kids. She's just coming by herself. So um, we'll probably do a two thirds to one third split on the car because I want her to be able to have be, get around as well. And it's no need for us to rent two cars because we're going to the same places. So that's what I plan to do. So let me share with you. Hey, from Durham. Hey. I have some friends in Durham. I'm planning to go very soon. Um, we're going to jump into this budget. Okay. So again, this is my budget sheet for December. Now, one of the things that I plan to do is finish just as strong as I started because that is what um, the Lord would have us do. So I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, I am. I'm trying to find my channel, y'all. Sorry. Okay, very good. So I can follow along on the comments. Okay, so my income, you know, categories have not changed. Monthly payroll deposit, kids deposits. I always put, well, I say kids, it's just Jackson now. So let me just change that. It's just Jackson. It's not um, sister anymore. So Jackson gets child support. Anything I make from my Shakima Wilson brand will go on here. Because that is for my, that's under my name and not one mom. That's business. Um, travel reimbursements. I do get travel. I do. I am able to to um, claim travel if I have to go to more than one place while I'm at work. Because I am a mobile person. I go from school to school. I'm not at one school specific. Now, on every given day, I do have a school I should be at. But if my boss calls me to the central service or if I have to go to a meeting or if I have to split my day and go to one school in the morning and another school in the afternoon, then I'm able to count travel. I didn't have any travel this month. Well, November. So far, I did have travel in October and I got $60 back for that. So it was perfect. And then any unexpected gifts, blessings or funds transferred. So thus far. For my paycheck, and remember, we got a raise. Our raise was voted on in September. We didn't get retro pay until November, which is why y'all saw such a large amount of money. But this is my new pay cycle, right? So $3,307.72 is what has come in thus far because we did get our paychecks. And then I have to allocate these funds. Now, I never budget income. I just leave that blank. I just like to know what I'm actually putting in. So I'm going to scroll down and talk about expenses because you have to be able. One of the things that it helps when you have a partner 
uh, to be able to discuss what you're doing. When you don't have a partner, you're like me, you're a budget committee of one. So that's why it, it helps to be able to chat this through with you all, right? Now, let me just share this with you. Whatever you see here has already been paid out. It's already been funneled out. It's already been used or whatever the case may be. We don't keep cash in the large amounts of cash in the house. I have grocery money, child grocery money. I mean, what it, what is that? Nothing. Um, but everything that's a big expense comes out of the um, debit. I just paid online, right? It's just easier for me to do it that way. So my mortgage, I paid a thousand. Now my mortgage, once I got my escrow report back in March of twenty three, I was paying nine seventy six and some change. So I was paying like nine seventy seven. My mortgage went down. Um, because I paid, you know, what I paid in escrow. So my mortgage went down to 892. From once from 977 to 892 is $107. The Lord said to me, He said, Shakima, you're already used to paying the 977. So don't stop doing that. Just go ahead and pay that. But add in what would make it up to a thousand. And he said, pay that extra towards your principal. Now, what that has done for us just in the small amount of time that we've been adding in the extra hundred and seven dollars towards principal is now that has brought my mortgage down a couple thousand dollars. I mean, I think my mortgage was like. It's down almost two or three thousand just from these past few months, nine months. Right. Because the more I pay towards principal, the quicker I can get out of the mortgage loan. I do not plan a 30 year mortgage. It's just not my plan. Baby step number six, I believe, is to pay off your home. And I don't plan to be pay paying this home when I'm in my 70s. It's just not it's not how I'm trying to live my life. Now, once the Lord sends my husband here and he comes for me because he coming for me, um, we'll be able to sell this home. And I'll be able to make a significant amount off of this home just based on uh, property taxes, the amount of growth that's happening in the county that I live in. I'm probably going to gross quite a lot over what I paid for the home. That money will then go into the purchase of a new home with my husband, a home that's big enough for my children, his children, if he has any, or, you know, people who want to come in, in and out of our home, that type of thing. Um, I had originally thought I would always downsize and it would just be me, but I plan to get me. I want to be married. Right. So I need to, to make sure that I'm thinking that there's enough space for us, for my husband and I, and then for our children to come and visit and all that. OK, I'm probably boring y'all out of your mind. I'm sorry. So a thousand dollars to the mortgage with one hundred and seven dollars and seventy cents to be exact going towards additional principal. Um, cell phone bills. I paid my bill and Jackson's bill. My bill is forty two dollars and some change and Jackson's bill is forty six dollars and some change. And so I just went ahead and paid that. Normally I pay that out of his child support, but I didn't get a child support payment yet. And I wanted to go ahead and pay that bill. So this is how it works. Excuse me. Shamika Trandon, me. Alana and Jackson are all on a family plan. Now, we didn't originally start out like that. It was just me and my kids. Well, me and Alana and Trandon. Then Trandon did something different. So it was just me and Alana. When Shamika changed over from her whatever service she had previous, she went to Verizon and she was like, hey, let y'all want to be on the family plan with us. Well, I was paying a lot of money for Sprint. I was paying like $170 a month. And... I knew I needed the phone. So I was like, okay, whatever. But when we went on the family plan, it actually pushed everybody's bill down. So I was like at 50 something. Then Trandon joined and it pushed everybody's bill down further. So that took us down to like 40 some dollars each. I think Trandon pays the most because he's got some extra stuff on his phone. But Shamika pays the bill and we just send her our portion because that's how she wants it done. So it works out fine for us. I get to pay. I'm just paying it like I normally would paid her. Now, my electric bill, water and sewer. And Internet, those shouldn't even be on here anymore because that goes out of a different fund. So I just take that off from here. OK. Um, oh, hey, hey, ma'am. Very good. Listen, I just did some some laundry myself, but you're right. It is that. Um. 
aggressive. You got to get after it, right? If you know somebody is coming to take your stuff, you're going to do everything you can to keep them from off your stuff. So what I do is I'm I'm budgeting over here. I'm not playing with anybody. When I got gazelle intense, which is what they call it in financial peace, when you get gazelle intense, like you're not going to let this lion devour you. I'm going to get this speed behind me. I started chunking everything I got, taxes, um, rebates, um, supplements, every dime that didn't need to go to a bill went to the debt. And people were like, I wouldn't pay all that money to debt, but you are okay paying their interest. I don't want to pay your interest. I actually didn't pay my cable bill on time. To, I mean, not my cable, my internet bill. I meant to pay it. It went off my mind. They charged me $5 for a late fee. Y'all, I was so upset about that $5. You will not catch me outside again. Oh, no, ma'am. You will not catch Shakima outside because I knew it needed to be paid. And it was just that I got busy doing something else and it went off my mind. And I don't have an app on my phone. I have to do it on my computer. And I was like, oh, man, how they catch me for that five? That five dollars hurt my feelings. Huh? That could have went somewhere else. So, yes, you got to get aggressive in your budgeting. But that comes with a clear mind. Because people are going to shame you. Well, if I was you, I wouldn't pay up. But you're not me. So guess what? I'm going to pay it and I'm going to be done. And you still going to be paying interest and I'm not. There it is. Okay. Um, $120. That says lawn care, Mr. Jerome. Now, what I'm planning, what I plan to do during the winter months, Mr. Jerome does not come over to cut the grass. We don't need the grass cut. Our grass doesn't grow in the winter. So what I do is all that money I'm pulling out for the spring garden right? I spent a ton trying to get that spring garden going. And I'm actually even going to try to do seeds this year. Y'all start my own little seedlings. Y'all pray for me because I've never done that before, but I'm going to give it a whirl. So any money during the months that Mr. Jerome doesn't come that I don't need to allocate somewhere else. I did have to use a hundred of those dollars for something else. And it was fine. I, I needed to purchase something. Um, and that was money that I knew I wasn't going to spend on the, on the lawn. So I used it to uh, purchase something for sister. We're going to be doing a project. You guys will see that soon. And then I have to get these carpets pulled up. I've got to get this carpet pulled up. It just after seven years and dogs, you know, I don't want to come in and smell my carpet. I just don't. So we're going to pull these carpets up. We're going to live with the concrete for a little while. And, and life is going to be very well. I'm, I'm just going to live with it. But I do need to get these, this carpet up. So I did pull out $120. A hundred of that is already gone. I have $20 left in that envelope. Moving down, um, I did not plan to put any Roth in this month. I don't know why I didn't put my Amazon Prime in there. That should be in there. Okay, that should say 13. That should say 11. Y'all pray for me because I must have been missing some stuff. Okay. Amazon Prime, that's for my membership. Now, remember, my membership rolls in January, so I've been saving all year long for Amazon Prime. I can tell y'all how much I saved actually up to this point right quick because I know because that's a sinking fund and I have a whole different uh, a checking account for sinking funds. I do not keep that money anywhere near my regular checking account. That's in a whole nother situation. So for Amazon Prime, I've already saved one hundred and sixty one dollars. So, oh, I don't know. I know why I didn't do it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I know why I didn't. Because remember when I told y'all I was down on my income from the other month, I went ahead and doubled up my sinking funds in November when I got my um, supplement. That's why you're not going to see sinking funds filled on this budget because I already sank those funds. Now, when you're used to doing something, it's hard to try to remember to do something different. But I sank twice the amount of sinking funds in November because I got my supplement. That's what I use my supplement for. So I have in that account $161.83. So I have enough to go ahead and pay my Amazon renewal when it comes due. Now, the way that normally works is um, I have a friend who she gifts me Amazon Prime every year. That's just her gift to me. She's just lovely. She doesn't have to do that. So don't think, oh, Shakima gets her Amazon Prime free. I don't ask her to do that, but I do a lot of ordering for her. She just asked me to order things for her, which I don't mind doing. I would do it regardless. I did it before she gifted me the Prime, but she was like, hey, since you order so much stuff for me, I'll go ahead and just, I'll gift that to you, but I have to pay it up front. And 
There have been several times when I have not reminded her about it. I don't care about it. I'm, I've saved the money, right? Because if she didn't gift it to me, I would have had to pay it anyway because I like my next day, two days delivery. So I'm good. But I've learned that over the years, right? Okay. So health wage gym, that is from, for me. My health wage gym increased in price from 25 to 29 last month. Sisters increased from 29 to 34. So when she got in on the deal, it was $29, but they have had to increase. So she's at 34. Jackson's gym is $42. Now, why is Jackson, excuse me, so much more than mine? Because we have the health ways, which is through our insurance. You cannot be a health ways member until you're 18 years old. Jackson can only go to one gym. That's the main gym that we go to because that's the one that Jackson can go to. Now, um, sister and I, oh, yay, very good, very good. I love that. It is it is 100% real freedom, Miss Rose. You are saying that so right. We The reason I, I paid that gym membership for Jackson, I paid out of my paycheck. When his dad sends child support, if I need to take the $42 back, I can do that. No problem. But it just gives us a family activity to do. Sister and I would go to the gym and we would leave Jackson home. And I would feel bad. You know, hey, he likes to work out. He fell off the treadmill the other day and he got hurt really bad. But he didn't tell nobody. We're not going to talk about that. But I was feeling really bad about not taking him. And so for $42, which is a student discount, and we actually got the membership joining fee for free, um, it helps me to feel better. We can go as many times. And I was paying $10 per visit for a guest, for Jackson to be a guest. So only four visits was $42, was $40. So I can pay $42. He can go every day, twice a day, three times a day, however many times a day he wants to go for every day of the month. That was the better choice. Do I need another membership? Probably not, but it was a better choice for us, right? Okay, very good. His high school um, sinking fund, which I use that money for clothes. He needs some new pants. Jackson has had a tremendous growth spurt. He got taller and um, he is in a solid size 30 now. He wasn't a 28. He's just, he's getting the man body. He's 14 and a half. He'll be 15 soon. You know, he's, he's, he's growing. So I have to buy him some new pants and I also need to buy him a new winter coat. Um, his coat was too small. And then, so we bought him kind of a make do type of a coat but it's not going to be warm enough for him because when I drop him off in the mornings in the spring, starting in January, um, he has to stand outside because I've dropped him off early. He has to stand outside and wait for them to let them into the building and it won't be warm enough for that. So I've got to get him a new coat. So I just put money in that account. And then whenever I need to pull something out for him, that's been the best thing for me, for him, as far as school clothes and stuff, is to just put that money in where I used to pay for their homeschool curriculum. I was $50 a month. Dad sends child support. I do $50 a month times 10 months is 500 times 12 months is $600. So I have roughly about $600 of, of clothing money, whatever money he needs for that particular fund. I take the first $50 of the month out for that account. Okay, moving down. Let's see what else I have. Um, okay, all the sinking funds are sank. Food expense, $400 for groceries. That's $100 per week. We do have Christmas coming. Of course, my kids are not coming home for the holidays, my older kids. So it's just going to be us. We're not going to do big Christmas breakfast, I don't think. Uh, we'll, I will probably still cook breakfast, but we won't have the big shindig, all the things. We may, depending on if we have friends around that don't have anywhere to go. If I have friends that are home with nothing to do on Christmas morning, then we, of course, yes, will do Christmas breakfast here for our friends or Christmas brunch type thing. Um, summer groceries, I always take my $100 out for summer groceries. Hey, ma'am, good to see you. Monthly preps, $50. And then for eating out or holidays, we actually had a Christmas party uh, at church. So I did $50 for that to get all of our ingredients and things. Jackson did a dessert. I did four desserts. It all worked out very well. Okay, moving forward. Personal care. Um, I like to get my nails done. I like to get my feet done. And Jackson has to have two haircuts. And then mom now has a relaxer. So I have to keep my hair done. So I estimated about $200. That's $60 for Jackson's haircuts. 
So that leaves 140. That will allow me to get my hair done at least once and then maybe get a fill in on my nails. But if I if I don't do that, it's perfectly OK. Um, hey, ma'am, good to see you. It is not hot here, but I'm so glad um, that you all are warm over there. So I did that. My natural supplements, twenty five dollars. That actually comes out of my uh, benefits card. Actually, be very diligent to look at things. So I had a dental cleaning scheduled in October. When I went for the dental cleaning, the hygienist said, well, you know, you're out of benefits for the year. They're not going to pay for this. You need to pay it out of pocket. So I paid out of pocket 120, I think it was $129 for my teeth to get clean. No problem. Did it on my benefits card. Well, I got a letter from the dental place saying they had paid for it and they paid everything but five dollars so i was like okay this company i mean this dentist did not even call me back to say hey we're going we got a refund for you so i called them they're like oh yeah we we have a credit for you on your account i don't want a credit ma'am i want my cash you just send my check right on over here to this little address because i i don't need a credit if i have to pay it i'm gonna bring the money when i come the next time but i don't need nothing running on my account give me my money back right very good um so be diligent to watch your accounts because sometimes things happen. Now for Jackson in December, November and December, $100 goes towards his Christmas spending, whatever he needs to get for his family, you know, his sisters, siblings, whoever they buy for. Alana has a running list of who gets what. So she just tells him who to buy for and he does all the things. So, yeah, they're not about to keep my money. Send me my check, period. She's like, oh, and she didn't want it neither. She she just thought I wasn't going to want my money back. Yes, I do, because I want it back. Now, if I had owed the money, it's perfectly fine. But because the, the insurance paid for the teeth cleaning, I didn't get anything else. Just my teeth cleaning. Doctor didn't even come in and look nothing. So fine. But give me my money back. Um, This this 23, I'm going to need all my coins because that might be some Christmas money. I don't even know. Um. I know that's right. All my money for gas. I did two hundred dollars. Um, gas is working out so beautifully now because sister puts gas in her car. She drives her car to work in the morning. I drive it home. Then I take myself to work in my car. So I'm not having to take my car everywhere for where sister has to go. She takes her car. She she puts her money in. And um, so I'm really only spending about half what I was spending before. So it works out beautifully where I'm not overspending my gas. I can put and gas has come down here a little bit. So I'm able to pay, to take that money and have enough for my gas tank. And she's putting gas in her tank. She's not giving me gas anymore, but she's putting it in, in her her tank. So that works out right there. Um, eighty dollars. I still owe her nine twenty dollar bill. So one hundred and eighty. So eighty will be this month. And if I can get more than that, I will because I'm tired of paying. I'm tired of messing with sister. She done got the dog on car. But again, I want to keep my word. I told her I would give her twelve hundred dollars. I just knew it would take me longer to save than than her dad. He had already he just gave her the full amount. I didn't have it. Hey, listen, she's still getting it. It's going into her savings account. It all works out very well for tithe. Um, five fifty one is my base salary. Five thousand. Five hundred uh, and ten dollars is my base salary. So I tithe off of my gross, not my net. And then I have another ministry that I support, which is two seventy six. And then for baby step number three, I want to save a thousand dollars. So, again, I'm still working on baby step number three. Once I get three done, I'm already working on four. I'm already doing five and I'm doing seven. So I only have one more step, which is six. But I've got to get to the building wealth part. Right. I want to build wealth. I don't want to just live off of my emergency fund. I want to have investments and be able to put more to the 401k and all that type of thing. Now, if I take out, I wanted y'all to see this. If I take out the thousand dollars, my paycheck itself is more than my base expenses for the month. Three thousand two hundred seventy three dollars. And my paycheck was three thousand three hundred and some change. Right. So if I take out the savings of a thousand, I've met all of my obligations for the month. However, I do want to try to save a thousand, right? And I've got to figure out where that's going to come from. So bottom line is I've already paid out $2,837 in expenses so far. I have $470 left in my account, but I still have a couple of things up in there. Um, sister's car money, some savings for the baby, uh, baby step three, 
um, gems, those types of things still have not come out yet. So we are going to run a little bit of money in there just in case. We don't want no issues and no problems. If I forgot something, I overspent. I did have to buy something from Amazon this month. Um, I did have to buy something from Amazon. I needed so it's it's winter here, and um, it is cold, cooler. And um, sorry, y'all, I gotta text my ladies that um, I'm gonna be a little bit late for coffee and conversation. Okay. Just let them know that I'll be a little bit late. Okay, very good. So um, it's cold here when we go out and Gwen is only eight pounds. So because she's a smaller dog than mama, um, I wanted to get her a couple sweaters. So I got her something from Walmart the other day, but it was too big. It just wasn't the right fit for her and it wasn't cute either, but whatever. It's what they had. So I did go on and I was able to find her three little sweaters for like $13 for the whole set of sweaters. And then I needed to get some lint rollers for, um, I needed to get her some, uh, get some lint rollers because we do have dogs and lint, uh, dog fur, you know, we keep them brushed, but it's everywhere. So I have to keep rolling the things. So she is, she will not get any more than 12 pounds at max. She will not get any more than 12 pounds, but she's eight pounds right now. She's si she's six months old. And so we don't think she's going to get very much bigger. Um, so that's just how that goes. But I wanted her to have those little sweater things because it is a little cold, cooler out. Ma'am has good body heat. You know, she can keep her body heat in. So um, other than that. I don't foresee anything popping up on me. I'm being real diligent and stringent. Last month, I did very well. No extra spending outside of, of anything that I needed to do. Um, yeah, she won't be, she will not be very, very big because she is a, you know, dashing chihuahua mix and she won't get any bigger. Her brother's a little bit uh, smaller than her. I think he's like six or seven pounds. And then she has another brother that's a little bigger than her at almost 10 pounds. Um, so I'm trying to see if I ordered anything else from Amazon. Okay, I ordered, oh, and I ordered a, um, a doggy sling, right? So sometimes I've seen uh, people carry their dogs in their, in this little doggy thing. But I saw this guy the other day at Walmart and he had one that goes across him like this. Oh, see you later, Veronica. Tell Andy, hey, for us. But what ended up happening is um, sister and I are going to try to walk some when we're, when we're not able to get to the gym because it gets dark here really early. So when we're not able to get to the gym, we want to walk. But we always have to, you know, leave Gwen when we go walk mama. So if I get the little doggy thing, I can put her on me while I'm walking mama or the kids are walking mama so that we can just keep up some exercise it is sometimes a little bit challenging for us to get to the gym during this time of the year because i'm working she working during the summertime it's a whole lot easier because i can go in the morning all that type of thing um so i got that other than that i didn't get i have not been ordering much and i did order a book for a study that i'm that i'm doing other than that we we haven't ordered anything else and th those were not very high prices uh, Jackson's still doing very well on his cooking. We did a cooking reel. We did a cooking reel last week or the week before last that uh, got us a million views on Instagram. So Jackson, we have another viral reel um, where he was he was cooking. I was just being funny, but, you know, it got us a million views. We'll take it um, again. We do not we do not get paid on Instagram but we get exposure. So I'll take the exposure, right? We don't get paid on Instagram, but I'll take as much exposure as I am uh, able. Uh, whichever way God wants to bless me, I'll, I'll take the blessing. So it works out for me. Um, everything I do is not necessarily for income, but in 24, I've been praying and asking God to give me supernatural strategy to grow this business, right? This is is a business. And I never thought that I would ever think about leaving my job before 30 years. But out of nowhere, a couple weeks ago, something 
flew across my, it just did one of these things. And it was like, you're coming home, you're coming home. So in order for that to happen, I've got to work the business, right? I'm not working the business for that. Who's to say what God's going to do, but I'm going to work the business so that it is self-sustaining so that my children and I will be able to, to um, build wealth together as a family so that we might be able to get some family land. That would be such a huge goal and dream of mine to have family land. I know Shamika's in California, but she might come back if there's some land. <laughs> I don't know who's to say, but it's my goal in 24 to build this business, whatever business God will have me to do. So um, that's how I'm, you know, that's, those are my goals, what I'm, what I'm working towards. I encourage all of you to sit down with pen and paper. If you have a spouse or whoever is involved in your budget or your financials to sit down with pen and paper and let's look at 24. We got 12 months. What are we trying to do? How much are we trying to pay? Where are we trying to put other money here, there, whatever the case might be. So that would be my suggestion I'm not in your finances, neither would I ever tell anybody how to run your money. If you want to ask me a question, I'll be happy to give you my thoughts on it. But you have to be a good steward over what God sends you and brings you. I know for us, there's not a lot of frivolous spending. I'm also doing the 52 week challenge as far as savings account, because that's going to be for travel. So the 52 weeks is going to be for traveling. The hundred dollar and fifty dollar that's going to be for the baby step and then the five dollar that's going to be for travel as well a little miscellaneous things maybe i'll make that a house fund or something like that i'm not real sure but um that's what i am thinking so anywho y'all i just wanted to get that done i knew i would not have any time to film it yesterday we had the christmas party at the church so i couldn't get it done i teach a class on friday nights i could not get the live done so i said let me just do this live right now so if y'all would do chikima just one huge favor just go to the video and just like 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 that just helps push us out into the algorithm it really works for us it just gets people to come over to our channel i am going to try my best to work on thumbnails for next year so that can kind of get us some facial recognition so people can come over one of the things is this that i want to be known for i want to be able to make sure that people know you can do this if god can do it for me he can do it for you he doesn't love me any more than he loves anybody else he just really doesn't but he wants financial peace for you and your family thank you rachel he wants financial peace for you and your family. You may get some budget updates. I can't promise y'all. I ain't gonna promise because then I'll be done lie to somebody and y'all be done caught me on the car. She can't just lie. All she do is lie. So I'm gonna say maybe if I could fit it in, <laughs> if I can fit it in, but you got the budget, right? So I love you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like the video, don't forget to thumb it up. Do something kind for people, right? Kindness never goes unnoticed by the people who need to notice it. Um, you all have a good week. Happy Sunday. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Bye y'all. Stay blessed.